Oh, hi. Hi, Evan. Hello, hello. Welcome to Listen and Speak. I am Teacher Anna. And welcome to our English class tonight. Hello? Yeah. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, that's nice. How are you, Evan? I don't know. You don't know. Oh, no. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> okay, so are you ready for our English class tonight? Come on, you can do it. We'll make it the... Uh, We'll make it easy this time, okay? Oh, okay. Okay? But if you want it to be easy and quick, you need to listen and do what I want you to do so we can finish real quick, okay? Oh, uh -huh. Okay, and then if we finish really fast, then we can have time to play games. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let me share your book. There you go. Can you see your book? Oh, it's still loading. Let's wait for a second. There you go. Can you see your book, Evan? Yeah. Okay, so we will learn a new lesson for, or lesson for tonight. It's all about how seeds are scattered. Okay? Can you read the title of our story, please? How seed all scattered. How seeds are scattered. Very good. So when we say scattered, um, how can they go to different places? Like to help them like um, reproduce in different places. So you scatter the seeds or you contribute or distribute it to different places. So we will learn the processes of how that thing happens. So let's start with the first one here. What's our first word, Evan? The first word is uh, scatter. Scatter. So what is scatter? Scatter to throw dr or drop objects over an area. Okay, to throw, to spread something. Okay, so when you go outside and like you see some seeds, you can scatter it around the soil. So someday they will grow into a plant. So that's how you distribute seeds. You scatter them all over the area. So let's have the next word. We have blow blow. Very good. So what is what is blow? blow it is to make something move by current of air Okay. To make something move by a current of air. So this is what we do when we want to make a balloon. We blow it. And when we see like um, a flower or a dandelion, we tend to blow it too. So you can also scatter or you can distribute the seeds of plant by blowing or by the blow of the air. They can go to a different place. How about the next word, Evan? Can you help me, please? Land. The next word is land. So what is land? Um, to come to grow, to uh, to come to the ground after moving in the air. Okay, for example, a plane. Okay, an airplane. They travel from one place to another by moving in the air. So when the plane arrives to their destination or the country of their destination, they will land to the ground. So that happens too when seeds scatter around. When the wind blows them, they will definitely land into a place over the ground. How about the next one? Next one. All right. Okay, ripe is... Fully ground and ready to eat. Yes. So what uh, what happens when you eat a fruit that is not yet ripe? Um, it tastes too bad. It tastes bad. Sometimes it tastes bitter or it tastes sour. 
Okay, so you wait for the fruit to be ripe first in order to eat it properly. How about the next one? Stick. Stick. What is sick? Or sorry, stick. Stick? <laughs> it's a stick. Uh, for an object to become an attack to another. Yes, this happens, for example, uh, with bees. This is how bees help flowers and plants reproduce. So when a bee goes to a female plant, okay, or when a bee goes to a male plant, uh, a special pollen attaches to the bee's body and then it helps the flower to deliver it to a male plant or to a female plant. And that's how they grow, they reproduce. So when the pollen sticks to a bee, so how about the next one? Next one is a uh, drop. Drop. Two. Uh, hmm? What's drop? To fall or to let something fall. Oh, okay. For example, you're on top of a bridge and you want to test how tall or how high are you. So you can pick a stone. And then drop a stone to the river. So you will like look at your watch and count how many seconds did it uh, take before landing the river. So you can drop something to the river to measure how high. Okay, how high are you from it? So have you tried that before, Evan? Yeah, dropping something in the water? Yeah. Oh, can you tell me a story about it? What did you do? Um, uh, I don't want to. Oh, you don't want to? Oh, no. I want to know what happened, though. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, is that something that happened, like, a long time ago or just this year? Um, I think this year. What did you do? I'm so curious about it. I kick a ball into it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so let's have this one. Let's try the next activity down here. So we have here the methods, okay? Different ways on how our seeds being scattered. So the first one is... Uh, by wind. Yes, by wind or the blow of air. How about the next one? By water. By water. How about the next one? By animal. By animals. Very good. So these are the ways on how seeds are scattered. Okay. So remember that. May I, I might ask you again later about this. So how about this one? We have different kinds of seeds. So can you please look here and let's talk about the seeds, Evan? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And the first one is? Uh, maple tree. Yes, the first one is maple tree. Maple tree. Okay. So what is a maple tree? What the the uh, seeds it's of the like. maple trees are scattered through uh the air. The air, okay. So it, it, they flew, okay. When the wind blows, their seeds are being scattered to different places. They have this special thing that helps them like fly or float into different uh, places. How about here? What's uh, the next yeah. one? Oh, uh, well, water lily. It's a water lily. Very good. So, what is a water lily? How does it scatter its seeds? Uh, the seeds of the water light lily, lily floats on, on lake. Yes. So imagine there's a water lily and its seeds uh, float on lakes. 
So it's really easy for the water to like um um go with the current and then the seeds will follow the current of the water until they reach a place where they can grow. So that's how uh, water lily seeds uh, or plants are produced even in the water. How about the next one, Evan? Yeah, next one. Yes. Oh, chestnut tree. A chestnut tree. Do you know what is a chestnut tree? No. Um. Do you want? Uh, let's see. Let's see some pictures. Okay. I guess I don't know it too. That's why I want to know what it looks like. Oh, there you go. Oh, this one. Look. It looks cool. Ah, this one. Yes, it's a chestnut. This is very uh, uh, good taste. Oh, really? I haven't tried it. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I'm so sleepy. You're so sleepy, I know. We will make it real fast. Now, I want you to look here. So, let's talk about the, the chestnut seeds. Chestnut seeds. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Let's read. Oh, water lily. Oh, we're I... done with water lily. You're really sleepy. <laughs> Let's talk about the chestnut, Evan. Can you help me, please? Oh, chestnut burns. Burns get stuck on the on the stuck on the fur. Or feathers of animal. Okay, chestnut burrs get stuck on the fur or feather of animals. Okay, we're talking about this one, like uh, the hair like thing. So, this is uh, what stalks or sticks on uh, the fur of animals or to their feathers or skin. And then they uh, will like distribute it to different places. So we're done learning how seeds are scattered. We have three ways. And we also learned the three different kinds of seeds. Okay. And how the seeds distribute um, around their area. How about here? Can you help me name this pictures using the words that we learned a while ago? Okay. On ripe. Ripe. What's your favorite ripe fruit? Like it's best when it's ripe. Oh, no. peach. Oh, peach. Really, I love ripe mangoes. Mm. How about here? What's ripe number two? Watermelon. Oh, ripe watermelon. Oh, that's very yummy. Uh, actually, we make um watermelon ice cream here. Mm. How about number two? Number two. Mm -hmm. What is the starting letter? Oh, I can see it. Oh, sorry. Oh, there's the... Okay, there you go. L. Like, this oh. is also done by the airplanes when they arrive uh, the country. Lift. Land. Ah, oh, land. <laughs> I said when they arrive the country, not when they le leave the and country. Number three. Sticky stock. Stick. Remember, I read it as sick a while ago, but it should be stick. <laughs> How about the next one? Can you help me? What is Old number eight. Number four. I don't know. Like when you like throw something around the area. It's cat. Scatter. Drop. You scatter. Drop. Number six. Blow. Number six is. Blow. Blow. That's nice. Let me check your answers. One, two, three, four. Five and 
six. You did so well. Thank you very much, Evan. Now let's try this one together, okay? Can you please help me complete it's this sentence? Uh, scattered by animals. Seeds mm -hmm. are scattered by wind. Wind. Very good. Animals. Now, can you draw how seeds are being scattered by water? Can you draw it? Water? Yeah, how can seeds be scattered in water? Because we have pictures here where it shows seeds being scattered by animals. And number two, we can see a picture how seeds are being scattered by wind. How about you draw how seeds are being scattered in the water? Like the one with the water lily a while ago. Do you remember? Right. But I don't remember it very well. Oh, look. This one. Ah. And this one too. They are being scattered by the water. So maybe you can draw oh. water or with the sea. Okay, water. this is water. Oh, no. <laughs> I can see our book. What happened? And... And Oh, it looks cute. I like that seed. <laughs> you did a nice work. Maybe you can draw some waves too. Like to show that uh, there's a current in the water that like pushes the seed to travel to a different place. Like, like this. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Thank you very much, Evan. Can I delete your drawing now? Yeah. Okay. Now let's have this one, please. It's still about the words, and we need to like um choose the correct word for each of this meaning. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Can you help me, Evan? Wait. Hmm. Number one. Like a number one to make something move by a current of air. Blow. Blow. Very good. To come to the ground after moving in the air. Land to fall or to let something fall, drop fully ground and ready to eat, scatter for one object to become a tent by another stick. Uh, to throw or drop objects over an area. Oh. Uh, fully grounded, ready to eat is ripe. And then wait. Low in, land in, ripe in, and stick in, draw in. Then it is scatter. Okay. So it is. I I can do the how I I am good. Yes, you are. It is. You are so good. See, you can wait, 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 wait. Yeah. 
Where is plus? Okay. What are you going to do? A plus <gasps> plus A. <laughs> That's a lot of A plus. And, 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 and. What else? Circle. Yeah. yeah. Uh, circle everything because you yeah. did nice. Yeah. And. No, no, no. One on red. Down, down. And excellent. Excellent. Oh, no. <laughs> Can I erase it now? And. And teacher. Oh, it's double N. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it should uh, be teacher Anna. Teacher. It should be teacher Anna, not Anna teacher. Then teacher. like this. Oh, and I will sign it because I checked it. And my sign is like this. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> now we can go to our next activity, okay? Yes. So let's go here. It's time to answer a true or false quiz. Yeah, well. Can you help me, Evan? Number one. The wind has scattered seeds. True. The answer is? True. True. For the next one, I get taller. Number two, uh, these are false. You need to read it and then answer. These are not moved by animal false. And number three. True. Oh, you need to read it for me, remember? Okay, there you go. Oh, the answer here is false. Evan, listen. It should be false. It's the bird being moved by animals. Okay, not the bird who moves the seeds. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so we are ready to read our story for tonight. I need your help, okay? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Our seeds are scattered. Mm -hmm. Okay. Plants grow from seed. All seed to go in the same space as its parent. If seeds are scattered, they are more likely to grow into new plants. Seeds are scattered in many ways. The wind can blow seed away from a plant where a seed, seed plant lands, it might grow into a new plant. And sometimes the new seeds are inside fruits. Animals, animals like to eat ripe fruit. And sometimes birds take 
fruit from a plant and fly away. When they learn and eat the fruit, the seeds fall out. Birds can scatter seeds over a large area. And some seeds have around and seeds can drop off the animal. Oh, some seeds? Areas. Birds. Seeds can Oh, be you, are, you read the, the wrong way, Evan. Mm? It should be some seeds have birth. Some seeds have birth. These mm -hmm. seeds can stick to an animal's fur. So animals move around. The seeds can drop off the animal in different areas. Seeds can be scattered this way, so in, and animals help help gather seeds, and so plants have more space to live in. Very good. Okay, see, you did a great uh, job, Evan. Thank you very much. So, uh, we will answer this one. It's a cost and effect. So, let me help you with this one. The wind can... What can the wind do? Can a, a, a can bl blow. Blow. When animals and like to eat ripe fruit and move around. Okay. Seeds whispers can um, let's go back. Can stick stick to an animal's fur. Can stick to an animal's fur a fur of animals. Stick fur. That's a uh, seeds uh, with birds can stick to on um, fur of animals. Stick to and on. Wait, just so. Uh, okay. So let's talk about the effects, okay? So if the wind can blow the seeds away from the plant, what will happen to the seeds? Like this one. The seed. The seed. Plants in different areas. How about the next one? Animals can blank seeds. Mm. Animals can... Can all track. Mm -hmm. sc scatter. Mm -hmm. Animal can scatter seeds. Very good. That's nice. See, I know it's hard and you're sleepy, but you're trying your best, and that's great. So let's have this one, Evan. I appreciate your effort. Now, we still have minutes left, and we still have these two activities, and oh I want you to finish this. We still have 10 more minutes, okay? <laughs> you can do it, Evan. Let's try this oh, together. Go, please. No, go. You can do it. Uh, seeds are more likely to grow if they are next to their parents. Okay. How about number Animals two? usually eat ripe fruit. Nice one. Number three. Seeds first and then to animals first and then. Mm. And 
rub all the animals later. Okay. Seeds can be scattered um by animals and we Nice work. See, you did great. How about why do seeds need to be scattered? Why? Because they have to get too many. Oh, they need to reproduce. Yeah. Can you say it? How seeds need to be scattered. Need to you need to answer it in a complete sentence. See? Yeah, I said it completely. Seeds need to be scattered because they need to reproduce. Okay, can you repeat it so I can write it down here? Seed oh, need to be scattered because they have to reproduce. Or we can say because plants. I'm oh, sorry. Need to reproduce. Okay, how about number two? How do birds have have feet? Uh, uh, For example, um, the bird is hungry, they, right? The bird is they hungry. They eat two fruit. Okay, they love and, eating ripe right And fruit. they will drop seed. Yes, very good. As easy as that. We just need to fix your sentence. Okay, so we can say birds help move seeds by eating ripe fruit and dropping seeds on the ground okay can you say can you please uh, read this for me evan okay Birds help move seed by eating ripe fruits and dropping seeds on the ground. Very good. So we're done with this question. Actually, we're done with our lesson for tonight. And you did great. But before that, I want you to have a very quick review. And I need Evan's help. Can you please draw the three ways how seeds can be scattered? We have three ways, by water, by wind, and by animals. Can you draw how this happens? How? Yeah, by water, by wind, and by animals. Okay, by I, water. Okay, so I will, I already like uh, chunk the page into three parts so you can have space for each process. Then I draw it. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. Okay. I will draw it same. Mm -hmm. I draw. It's okay, I just want to see if you still remember these three ways. Mm. And... Oh, what are you drawing next? You're done with the scattering by water. How about the next in one? In the wind. Oh, it's in the by the wind. Okay.
And the last way is, what's that? Animal. By animal, see? So remember, that's a nice job. How, what animal is that? Um, some animal. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but I think, but I think it's a cat. Is it? I don't know. You don't know. Okay, that's fine. No, 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 no. And this is a tail. Where's the tail? Here. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's the tail. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so again, what are the three ways how seeds can be scattered by? Water. By water. By wheat. And by animal. Okay, but where's the seed? Ah, uh, where's the seed? Eat here? it on the tail. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So that's a great, a great representation. So thank you. Thank you, Evan. I like it. I'll give you an A, 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 A plus for each. A plus, A plus, and A. A, A, plus, plus, plus. A plus, A plus, A plus. <laughs> so let's go thank here. You. So before we go, Evan, I want to show you what will be our next lesson. We will not study anymore. We're done with our class, okay? I just want to show you what we'll be talking about next meeting. We will talk about animal adaptation. Ooh, wow. So when we say animal adaptation, how they live in a certain place, how they survive, what they eat, and how they like do things in their environment. So we will study different cool animals like this in the picture. Okay, and also here. Oh, wait, did, 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 oh, more, 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 more. Yeah, this one. What's this? The second one. Oh, it's an ant, ant eater, ant eater. Uh, 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 they love eating ants. They look really yeah. like bizarre. They look so unique. Ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and their face are really long. And bye bye. It looks like another leg. <laughs> okay. Bye. So Evan, I know you're so sleepy, and I know you want to rest now. But before we go, I want you to look here because we still have a minute left. Okay. Yeah. Can you look here? Yeah, okay. I. I so when we say animal adaptation, it's how they live. Okay, what they do to survive. So let's talk about snakes. What do you know about snakes? What do they eat? Um, some someone have poison and someone have not. Yes, you can say someone or some snakes are venomous. Can you say venomous? Venomous. When you say venomous, they have venom. They are poisonous. A venom. Yeah, venom. A venomous snake. Has a poison. Oh, the venom is... Oh, the movie. <laughs> yeah. Like the bad Spider-Man. Yeah. But it's but I think he's not bad. He just have a, like a different attitude. So that's it for tonight, Evan. You did an amazing work. Thank you very much, Evan. I hope I can see and you bye. again next meeting, okay? Yeah. Okay, goodbye for now, Evan. Thank you very much. Bye -bye. See you again next time. Goodbye.